Oh, man. They, um, I tip my cap to those guys. Um, and I'm going into my 10th season as a head coach. That's probably as good as passing and shooting team as I've seen. Uh, I would compare them to a school I used to play when I was in the Mountain East Conference, West Liberty. But they do such a good job of moving without the ball. They take advantage of every mistake you make. To beat a team um, the way we did after we made 17 threes, it's almost indescribable. Um, I give our guys a lot of credit. They stayed the course. You know, Garrett going down is, is could be a major, major loss. Um, tragic. Uh, you know, they're, they're, he's at the hospital now, so we're kind of waiting to see what the word is. But, um, you know, I give our, our young guys a lot of credit. Michael carried us, of course, as a senior. He was awesome. He's been great. Um, I think you guys can see the improvement in him. Um, you know, we run everything through him and Garrett uh, pretty much, so we're going to have to change our plan of attack. But, you know, you got to get the first one in these tournaments. You know, the first one is the most important. Um, that, that team is really, really good. I, I think they've been fantastic. Um, they probably should be a game better. I think their coaches would would agree. But uh, they played Fordham out of the A-10 to a six-point game. Um, you know, they basically got thrown out of their league because they dominated so much. You know, they're one of the winningest programs in the last, um, I think they're top seven in the country uh, in, since the 2000s in winning games in basketball. It's Gonzaga, Duke, a couple other D3s, and, and they're certainly, I think they were like six. So. We told our guys all week. Uh, we we knew this would be like this. We knew they were really good. Um, I don't think it was any any surprise for our coaching staff. Um, but you know, I certainly don't want to schedule them uh, in a home and home next year. I can tell you that. So we'll invite them to the tournament, and <laughs> uh, I don't want to play those guys. They're 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 very well coached and very good team. Well, I think we finally slowed down a little bit. Um, you know, when you're playing a team like that, that, that moves you, they, they're so well coached on offense, their movement, their cutting, their reads, they run brush cuts, they run flare screens, a lot of movement because all five guys can shoot. You know, you don't see that at the Division One level. Usually there's there's a five, traditional five man that can't shoot. That's why I was unable to play Jameer and um, Ja'Cory tonight. I really wanted to play those guys. But basketball is all about matchups, you know. So we had to kind of kind of uh, go smaller. Um, and I thought, you know, once Mike settled in and, and scored around the rim, it kind of opened things up for the guys. I thought Miles and Luke Chacon uh, were big. I thought Daniel Goro and then, of course, Dwayne Cohill with one of the biggest plays. Um, you know, with Garrett out now, he's he's a guy that's really got to raise his game, um, Dwayne and some of those guys. So, um, you know, good 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 student section. Um, you know, the hard work's paying off. I told our guys we get out in this uh, out in the campus this week, uh, they're going to come. You know, we spent 30 minutes with them on Thursday. It's amazing if you buy them a coffee and buy them a donut and a bagel, uh, and you give out T-shirts, give out pizza. Um, they came, and I thought, you know, that was the difference. Uh, once again, you know, the women's game won a nail biter. That noise in the building uh, really impacted our game, and I think you guys are seeing us create some something here that could be really special with the home home atmosphere here in Youngstown. Is there anything else you could tell us about the coaches? You know, they 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 haven't said a whole lot. Um, they they don't think it's good. Uh, possible Achilles. Um, you know, I watched the play at a halftime. And I, I think he either tangled up with somebody, um, hit somebody's leg, but it, it did not look good because he went down right right away. And Garrett's, you know, Garrett's one of the first guys um, we recruited when we got here. You know, it was him, Nas, and Mike. Those kids believed in us when nobody really did. Um, and I, I can't describe how um, I feel for that guy right now. It's tough.